So in this tutorial, uh, we're going to learn how to create a line draw effect on a custom animation path. So project, I'm just going to start with a new composition, uh, 720p. Actually, I can just choose a preset here. Uh, HDTV 72025. Duration, 30 seconds is too long. Three seconds, okay? 100. <clears throat> Um, I'm going to create a mask path. For that, first I need to create a solid. Let's create a mask path on the solid, something like this. Have it curl at the bottom there. Okay, next I'm going to create a null object. And so I'm just going to go into my mask and copy and paste the path, edit, copy, and then go to my null, um, click on position and edit, paste. So that basically attaches the null to the mask path. So we have this animation. So that's how you basically uh, create a custom path for animation. It's pretty simple. So basically people want to know how you can add a trail uh, coming off this uh, null, so basically a line uh, effect. So I'm just going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to add a particle system, one of the uh, default ones in After Effects. Uh, I think I'll use particle systems too, I don't think we have much choice. So I'm basically going to attach um, the producer position to the null position. So I'm going to alt click the stopwatch and we get this kind of pick whip. It opens up down here. The producer position opens up. It's the exact same uh, properties. And I'm just going to use the pick whip here. I'm just going to click on it, drag it and attach it to the link it to the null position. Click away. And now we have a trail coming off the null and it's following the uh, path we set. Okay. So it doesn't look much like a line, and this is just kind of, from here on, it's basically just uh, adjusting these properties. So let's have a look. Um, let's just move here. Radius uh, one, maybe zero. Okay, physics, uh, no velocity. Yeah, so now we're getting a line. As you can see, it's kind of dropping down. It's quite a cool ribbon effect, just that. Um, it's dropping down because of gravity, so if you get rid of gravity, if you don't want that, you just get a line like that. And then you can play with the uh, other properties. Um, if you want thickness, I guess you want to just give it a bit more radius, yeah, but then you get kind of this uh, divvering. Uh, if you really want to close these gaps, I guess you could kind of duplicate it, um, add it. But um, That's uh, basically the technique. It's very simple. I think I'll keep the radius at zero. That looked better. And I think the gravity was quite, quite cool. I'm just going to give it a 0.1 gravity. Um, so that's basically that. Very simple. Um, so uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, and we didn't use any plugins. It's quite a cool effect. And uh, please share it. And thanks for watching.